This is a, a Gauss meter that I made, um, and I'll show you the design in a minute or two. Um, I made it for a pal of mine who was uh, remagnetizing some magnets for his um, Model T Ford. And so I thought I'd make a video of it. Relatively straightforward. I've got it set so that there's an on off switch on the uh, control. And to uh, get the thing going, you can see that the needle is on zero. And if you turn it on, you adjust the control so that the needle in the meter is centered. And the probe, the thing that actually measures the magnetic field, is that little wee tiny black thing at the end of the probe. And so right now it's set to mid scale. And if I bring a magnet over, trying to get this or organized here, you'll see that the needle starts to deflect as I move the thing around. And that'll give you some idea of what the magnetic field strength is. If you bring a more powerful magnet over, this is one from a, a microwave oven, you get much more of a deflection. And the way the, uh, the way the probe is organized is that the face of the probe uh, gives you the north facing uh, field. So it goes, the field is south underneath and north at top. And then going the other way um, gives you the deflection in the other direction. So if I just turn the probe, you can see as the needle will swing the other direction. So I found it uh, pretty useful to uh, play around with this stuff. Here's an explanation of the, uh, <coughs> pardon me, of the uh, diagram for the uh, Gauss meter. You start off with a um, uh, nine volt battery uh, going to a five volt voltage regulator, 7805 gives you 5 volt output which goes up to that Hall effect that device that little wee tiny black thing and then coming back from the Hall effect device when there's no magnetic field its uh, output is 2.5 volts and what I do is set that this variable resistor here set it up so that it centers the meter so there's no magnetic field in the center if there's a north going magnetic field you get deflection to the right um, and if there's a south going magnetic field deflection to the left. So the trick is how do you calculate that variable resistance? I know the resistance of the meter. I also know the current needed for full scale deflection. I also know that when I have full scale deflection I have two and a half volts with zero plus two and a half so that's five volts. So I set up Ohm's law, which is 5 volts times the current needed for full scale deflection times the resistance, the total resistance, which is the meter resistance plus the variable resistance. So all of these are known except for R sub V. Rearranging that, there's the equation. So I get R sub V is 5 divided by the current minus the resistance of the meter. So what I normally do is get a, a variable resistance that's slightly bigger than the, what I've actually calculated give me a little bit of uh, wiggle room, so to speak. So there you have it. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with, uh, with this Gauss meter, and it turns out to be actually quite useful.